to Belarus as massive protests continue across the country against Belarus President Alexander Lukashenko. Its opposition leader Svetlana Tikhonovskaya has now urged the French President Emmanuel Macron to involve Russia's Vladimir Putin in a dialogue between the Belarus government and its opposition. Tikhonovskaya says that the French leader is known as a mediator in international crises and voices hope that Macron could influence Putin. Vladimir Putin is Lukashenko's main ally and has supported him financially as well. In the past, Putin has also called for stronger integration with Belarus and a process of constitutional reform. Of course, we would prefer to solve this problem but by ourselves, but now we see that uh, all these atrocities are continuing and people, uh, Belarusian people are suffering and our authorities don't start this dialogue. And uh, now we really need, we badly need these uh, negotiations for no more blood, uh, okay, in, in Belarus. So, and uh, Mr. Macron is um, mm, one of the strongest leaders in Europe and in the world. So he uh, would um, be the, this one of these uh, mediators. So and maybe he would be able to influence Mr. Putin to participate in these mediators, because I know that, uh, as I have heard, they are in good relationships. Tikhonovskaya fled to Lithuania's capital Vilnius after claiming victory in August's disputed election. She had earlier requested a meeting and called on Macron to help mediate the crisis. Ahead of his arrival in the Lithuanian capital. Macron said that it was clear that Lukashenko has to go after 26 years in power in the former Soviet Republic. According to the latest reports, the French president is ready to meet with the Belarus opposition leader Svetlana Tikhonovskaya tomorrow and the meeting would be a major show of support for the activists. The French president would be Tikhonovskaya's most high-profile meeting with an international leader so far and she has previously met with leaders in neighboring Poland and Lithuania as well, which have taken a lead in European diplomacy on Belarus and with the EU foreign ministers in Brussels as well. Tikhonovskaya says that the bloc could go further and also adopt sanctions against firms, individual businessmen who support Lukashenko's regime. The EU is considering personal sanctions against Lukashenko and other high-profile figures seen as responsible for the violent crackdown. Lukashenko has also jailed or forced out most of the country's prominent opposition activists.